Welcome to Blue Helm Space News Brief. You can find us at bluehelmco.com. Today, in 1962, the Jetsons first debuted on ABC. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, and these are your top space news headlines. Commercial space flight company Blue Origin is considering development of commercial space stations with NASA as a potential early customer. Blue Origin posted a job opening September 18th for an orbital habitat formulation lead at its headquarter in Seattle suburbs of Kent, Washington. That individual will be charged with leading the company's development of commercial space stations in low Earth orbit as a new product line. Quote, to develop Blue Origin's vision of millions of people living and working in space, humanity will require places for them to live and work, space destination systems in which value-creating economic activity can occur, unquote. The company states in the job description, the article continues, quote, LEO habitable stations, learning from but going beyond the ISS, are a first step, unquote. The job link is in the show notes. The International Space Station maneuvered to avoid a potential collision with a piece of space debris September 22nd, an incident the head of NASA used to advocate for more funding for the agency directed to handle space traffic management. The European agency signed a 300 million euro or 352 million dollar contract with Airbus Defense and Space on September 21st to develop an ice monitoring satellite for the European Union's Earth Observing Copernicus program. The Copernicus Polar Ice and Snow Topography Ultimator Mission, or CRYSTAL, planned launch in 2027. European Union intends to use CRYSTAL to monitor the cryosphere, which includes all the areas of the Earth's surface where water is found in solid form. Specifically, the satellite will gauge the thickness of sea ice and snow that covers it, both of which are key indicators to predicting climate change. Do you hear that? That's the sound of no worries. That's future shredding. Contactless on-site shredding from LA to Orange County. We provide residential and commercial service to meet your needs. You don't have to believe me. Go ahead and check out our Yelp reviews. Our friendly staff is here to meet and exceed your needs. So give us a call at 562-426-0557 or visit our website at futureshredding.com to set up a reoccurring or one-time purge shredding service. Again, that's 562-426-0557 or futureshredding.com. Law, Policy, and Events in Space NASA and the U.S. Space Force have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, outlining areas where the two agencies will collaborate. Created nine months ago, the U.S. Space Force is in the process of standing up its organization and cementing relationships with U.S. and allied partners. The MOU replaces one signed in 2006 between the Air Force and NASA and has a strong focus on synergies between NASA's planetary defense and Space Force's space domain awareness responsibilities. All right, the launch for Blue Origin is tomorrow. Everything seems to be a go. Fun news, I've included an article about Tom Cruise going to space for the movie. Ryan Chu's very excited about this one. Legitimately, he asked to do a podcast just on Tom Cruise. I told him yes, so get ready. Embrace yourself for someone that's a nerd about Tom Cruise movies. All right, y'all, I'll be back here tomorrow with wonderful space news for you, the ever-expanding Uh, world of space travel and commercial flight and uh you know military installations and and nuclear power on the moon and 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 filming in space we'll be back here tomorrow tell somebody about it subscribe rate review and drink your water talk to you tomorrow